Hey guys, before the video starts, I wanted to say thank you to my Patreon, Wolfgaming208. I really do appreciate it, and uh, if you guys want to support my Patreon, you guys can find the link in the description down below. What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're back with another YouTube video. Today, we're going to be going over RhythmBot, we're going to be adding it to the Discord, you guys can already see that it's here, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to add it, how to operate it, and all of the ins and outs of the bot. So let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so I looked up RhythmBot on the internet, and RhythmBot.co comes up. You guys also know that I use top.gg to use my bots and invite them. You guys can also use that if you'd like, uh, or you could just go to the website, RhythmBot.co. Uh, and it gives you a little bit about Rhythm, what it is. It's a Discord music bot, and it's in over 10 million Discord servers. That's a ton. It uh, supports sources such as YouTube, SoundCloud, Twitch, and more. Um, I know it also support sources like spotify so that's pretty good so if you guys want you can join the support server i'll leave a link to their website down in the description below but we're just going to join or we're going to add it to our discord real quick so we're using the how to start a discord right there you want to have it have admin and once again like it said it said it was in over 10 million but it's actually in over 15 million so it is very trusted so do not worry Alrighty, so we added it all right, once you add it, it redirects you to their thank you for adding rhythm page. And you guys, obviously, I think it's a very simple task. Just go to the features and commands channel real quick. It's going to redirect you and open you into a new tab. And it's going to give you all of the commands and stuff like that. So uh, let's see. So for the lyrics, it shows you that it can do lyrics. It can do settings of the bot where um, you can do the prefix, blacklisted, autoplay, announce songs, the whole shebang. Then it gives you the list of commands. So there's all of these commands right here. So the two most important commands that we're going to be using today, uh, just to start off, is info and settings. Where is settings? Info and settings. So right there, it gives you info about rhythm and then change rhythm settings. So let's go back to Discord. It says, thanks for adding me. My prefix is this. You can do exclamation point help to start it up and then uh, settings for the prefix. So we'll do help. Jeez, had a little bit of a problem typing there. All right, so uh, you can click there for a list of commands like we just did. Then it gives you the FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions. Once again, still up there. And then it gives you a direct link to their Discord just in case you need more help. So that's just to get started. So we're going to do info and see what it tells us here. So it gives you, once again, more about that. So let's get into the nitty gritty. Exclamation point settings. So you can do exclamation point settings prefix. Uh, blacklist, autoplay, announce settings, max queue length, max user songs, duplicate song prevention, default volume, DJ only playlist, DJ only, set DJ role, and reset. Alright, so let's go over all of these individual. Alright, so for the prefix, obviously that's pretty, um, that's pretty, like, easy to figure out. You can set the prefix to something other than the exclamation point. We're gonna keep it as exclamation point. Um, you can do settings blacklist, so let's see what this does. So settings blacklist, uh, what settings blacklist does is it blacklists a channel from uh, the rhythm settings. So this can be like uh, if you if you don't want people using the rhythm bot commands in general chat, you can blacklist that channel and it won't it just won't do anything. So that's pretty useful if you just have like a set bot commands channel. Uh, then again, it's also very useful if you have staff uh, just to delete those. So that's what Blacklist does. So let's get rid of this. Uh, settings autoplay. So this is pretty uh, pretty easy to figure out what it does as well. It just autoplays songs. So for per performance reasons, this command is currently for donators only. You must donate here first. So this was actually like a little adding on to my next point. A lot of these are going to be only available for donators or what many bots say are premium users. So we're going to click on this link and see what the donator perks are and what do you actually get for it. So there are four different levels. There's the 5, 10, 15, and 20. So uh, for the $5 pack, you get uh, autoplay, volume control, and a little bit extra perks that we could go into if you actually want to buy. You can look at that. But other than that, the real like 
good perks are volume control and autoplay. Um, now for the $10 pack, it's volume control, autoplay, and then pretty much the same thing, songs for uh, longer than three hours, uh, and then you get to activate the rewards for more servers. Uh, but once again, volume, volume control and autoplay. Then for $15 a month, you get volume control, get to test beta features, no promises on anything and interesting, meaning if they have a beta coming out, you get to test that out, uh, even if it's boring. Uh, then you get autoplay, and then once again, the generic uh, donator perks, songs that are longer than three hours, and then cool roles in their official server. Then for 20 bucks, you can get volume control, a huge thanks from the whole team, uh, a whole, like the beta testing, autoplay, and then donator perks, three hours longer, that, that, and that. All right, so uh, I hate to like glance over that so fast, but uh, it was just quick going over. Once again, you get uh, volume control and autoplay for everything, and then you get more thanks, more more uh, rewards, and then more features with the more expensive packs. So back to Discord. So uh, as we just read, uh, autoplay and uh, default volume. So these two are going to be premium. So we can forget about those. Pretty much once you have premium, I'll buy premium uh, in the future if this video gets over 20 likes and I'll get it um, like I did with uh, Me6. Once that video got 20 likes, I got premium and went over that. Uh, but if this gets 20 likes, I'll get premium. Go over the default volume, autoplay. Is it worth it? Uh, and I'm not going to be like completely like brutal here, but it does seem pretty obvious that this is not really perk heavy. If you're going to donate to uh, RhythmBot, you're not really donating for the perks. You're donating to uh, support the company and support the bot itself. So it really isn't that much for the perks. So never never really go into things buying it and donating, expecting really good perks. Make sure you read what you're getting first. So if it does reach 20, 20, 20 likes, then I'll get the starter pack, which has volume control and autoplay. Uh, and we'll test those out. Alrighty, now on to announce songs. So it's going to be exclamation point settings, announce songs. Uh, so, whoops, we're going to get this right here. This is very simple, very self-explanatory. All it does is you can toggle on and off uh, if Rhythm announces the song that it's going to play. So that's very simple. Um, then we're going to move on to max Q length. So this is, uh, once again, very self-explanatory, but it also has its very, very, very good um, perks to it. You can set how many songs are, like, what's the max? Like, how long do you want your queue to be? And uh, you can set that and turn it off, turn it on. Right now, it's disabled for me, but like it says, if you want to do it, uh, you just do exclamation, exclamation point settings, max queue length, and then um, the number, or if you want to disable it, you can disable it. Um, now, moving on to the next one, it's going to be settings, max user songs. So once again, it's going to be setting uh, how many songs can one user play at a time. Uh, and then once again, just like every other one, you can uh, disable it. So for song duplication, I don't even think I have to do it. That's very self-explanatory. You can toggle on and off the song duplication uh, so it doesn't duplicate any songs in your queue. DJ only playlist, you can turn this on and off once again. So uh, this DJ only playlist goes along with these next three. So you can do DJ only and then set DJ role. So for these two, you're going to just toggle on and off uh, and then set DJ role. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to make a role called DJ or whatever you'd like, it to, like to call it. I'm going to call it DJ and give it a nice little uh, microphone emoji. So we'll do this one right there and then we'll call it DJ and make it gray for now. Save changes, drag it up to the top. We're going to copy the name. And then we're going to do a uh, settings DJ role. So what this does is it sets a DJ role. So you're going to do this. Copy and paste that. And then at DJ. DJ role set to DJ. So it doesn't actually have to be called DJ. You can set it to whatever you'd like. But once you have this, uh, now that I have a DJ role, I can enable DJ only. And then once DJ only is on, the DJ can literally do whatever they want. Uh, then again, if you do DJ only playlists, this can only play playlist verified by the DJ. So only the DJ can do the playlist. And then once again, there are settings reset, which once again, resets the settings. So other than that, this video was very easy, very simple. Um, and then I'm not really gonna end it yet. Uh, I know I just glanced over all the commands. If you guys wanna play a song and then pause the song and resume it, uh, very simple.
I'm not gonna we're gonna just go straight to their uh commands. So right here, uh so to start a song, you play it. To disconnect a song, you disconnect it. Uh and then to summon the bot, you're gonna do exclamation point summon. Uh that just brings the bot right into your call. Uh once you do that, you can uh skip the song by doing exclamation point skip. You can do lyrics. Uh, you can do, um, resume, pause, and other than that, there's like exclamation point clear and then everything else, which, uh, is found in here. So, uh, it's really easy, very, very simple. You can do exclamation point play and then like, uh, ultimate burrito, I guess. Oh, I have to be in voice channel. Let's see. Ultimate burrito taste test. Alrighty. So, uh, that's actually not what I wanted. So, we're gonna kick them out of the call. Uh, but yeah. So, for now, that's how you use and operate RhythmBot. Those are all the commands, ins and outs. How to use it. Is Donator worth it? I have no idea. Let's hit 20 likes and I'll get it. Uh, the support so far has been incredible. Um, my mouth from my wisdom teeth surgery, uh, is doing a lot better. It still does hurt a little bit to talk. But, I'm gonna start pushing these videos out like... Uh, like a crazy train so like I'm so hyped YouTube is awesome I'm so like happy that my videos are actually supporting people um, and I'm happy that people are supporting me so if you guys like the video make sure to smash the like button if you guys are new to the channel make sure to smash that subscribe button and other than that this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge and I hope you guys have an ultimate day I'll catch you around.